The issue here though is that with the iPhone, a portion of that screen is missing and that is not a good experience. So as far as what it's going to be like to purchase an iPhone 10, right now it's limited availability because the hype is out there. Apple knows how to sell these phones. They also know how to convince people that it is the responsibility of the application developers to get their applications to work on that phone. Now, my opinion is this. Saying that these app developers are optimizing their applications again is ridiculous. What you guys are doing is buying into the hype that Apple sells. What you guys need to do is just talk honestly about these phones and say, you know what? A portion of the screen is missing on the iPhone 10. That looks odd. And usually when you see a phone such as the LG V30 that does not have that, that looks better. Now that's my personal opinion of course, but I think a lot of people out there would agree with that. Now as far as the LG V30 compared to the iPhone 10, I'm saying the LG V30 is the better phone for the simple reason, one, the screen is complete, and then also it's an Android device, and it's also well made. So I think all of that put together, the LG V30 is better than the iPhone 10. Now as far as the sensor being on the back of the phone where you actually can unlock your phone, okay fine, the LG V30 has that compared to what the iPhone 10 has, but if you have those sensors on the front of the screen where you don't have a sensor, so where the sensor recognizes your face, that is cool, but it's not worth having a portion of the screen missing to have that feature. Again, just my personal opinion. Then you're talking about the improvements that Apple can make with the iPhone 10. First of all, really be honest about your phone. You guys tried to rush the development of your phone because you want to announce that before the holidays. That was obvious. Also, you want to announce it pretty close to when Samsung announces their phones. So it really is competition between Samsung and Apple. And while all of this is going on, Samsung is talking about the Galaxy 10 because we're talking about flexible displays, which Samsung has been talking about for years now. So this is why I say Samsung is one of the industry leaders out there. But compared to Apple, it always seems that they're lagging behind because because they don't want to announce another phone where it's too different than the previous versions of their other phones. This is why they even have the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus right now, which again, that phone is not impressive either, or phones. If you're talking about the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, and you try to tell people it's such a fantastic phone, but they should go get the iPhone 10. What kind of logic is that? If it was such an impressive phone, you would say everyone go get the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, but you're not saying that. And I'm talking about a lot of people that review these phones. What they're trying to do is just, I guess you would say advertise for Apple. Tell people to go get the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, although you would say don't get those phones if you're getting the iPhone 10. But then when you guys have an opportunity, you're saying don't get certain Android phones. And when you guys review these phones, these phones are very expensive. I talked about this in the previous video. And there is a responsibility out there when you review the phones. So when I have an opinion about the iPhone 10 and I say hey part of the screen is missing and it's not that impressive of a phone compared to say like the LG V30 which seems like a very complete phone you have great functionality you have an Android experience and of course you're going to be getting a very well designed phone with a great screen but if we're talking about the iPhone 10 are we really saying that it is better than other phones out there and of course that portion of the screen that's missing is an improvement to the phone I don't really think so and I also think that Apple can improve that and they're going to. They're going to figure out how to get the sensor in the screen eventually and they're not going to have these issues where the screen looks odd. So the people out there that are getting an iPhone 10, in my opinion, you are getting a very odd looking phone that does not have a complete screen and these applications out there that have to be optimized don't necessarily get the optimization from those developers if they don't choose to optimize them or upgrade them or whatever you want to say. You know, I'm not saying optimization because that's really not optimization. But when you talk about these phones and you start using applications on the iPhone 10 that don't have a complete screen. It just looks weird. That's what it looks like. And it's distracting. That's another thing. So yes, for certain applications, people might say, hey, you don't even realize that. Yes, but you're getting less screen on a phone that's supposed to have the most amazing screen, right? But you're getting less screen from those applications. Do you guys not understand that? I'm talking about the reviewers because you guys, you're like, hey, the colors look maybe odd, but you know what? It's a fantastic phone. Well, complaining about the colors doesn't really talk about the experience. You know, most people out there are just going to use a case for their phone. But like if we're talking about the screen size, that is an issue. Decreasing the screen size on a phone these days is just awful. That's what it is. It's ridiculous. Nobody wants to say this about Apple. Apple, I like some of your products. I think that you guys can improve your phones, but I think this is a real issue. And there's also another issue when you start comparing these phones to say like the LG V30, even the Galaxy phones, but really like the LG V30. I think that's one of the better phones out there to me because I think it's a phablet. It also has a complete screen. <laughs> 
I mean, that is a very impressive phone. So, in comparison, LG V30 versus the iPhone 10. I'm saying the LG V30 is the better phone. Now, as far as the Samsung Galaxy 10, that's innovation. That is a company that is focused on flexible displays. You're talking about like almost two phones put together where it folds. That is very interesting as well. Then you go back to Apple. By the time that Apple figures out how to get a complete screen, and then you also you can unlock your phone, they're gonna be talking about a flexible display phone from Samsung. You know, really innovative and also futuristic. So again, you're talking about one company that leads the industry with the way they innovate, and then you have another company that just tries to figure out how to get manufacturers to provide them that technology to create an innovative phone. And also while all of that's going on, they still sell the same stuff to the same Apple fans that are going to continue to go back there and buy the same phones or similar phones. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Apple fans because I like Apple products too. But the problem though is, is that when you talk about these products and you're not honest about them, people are convinced that certain things are the best out there and they use the words like the best or the most improved. And then we see other companies innovating, but they don't get the same attention. And I think that's wrong. I think we should just be honest about this. If Samsung innovates, let's talk about it. Even with the LG V30 or even the iPhone 10. Now there's some good things with the iPhone 10. Of course, you're getting a better screen because you have less bezel to the phone. So it is an improvement in ways. But if you see other phones out there, even the Pixel phones, again, this is not just about Apple and criticizing them. But if you saw the Pixel phones, the bezels look ridiculous. That's what they look like. If there was one word to describe the bezels on the Pixel phones, it could be ridiculous or even ugly. They just not improved from previous versions of the Pixel phones or even the Nexus phones because my Nexus 6, in my opinion, looks better than the Pixel phones. And that's just because the bezels, they're just looking odd. And Google doesn't want to hear that because they work with HTC. You know, all this stuff going on. This is like the talk that you don't see or hear in reviews. If you get a review out there that says the Pixel phones are the most amazing, you know, the stock version of Android on the Pixel phones. Yeah, we all know that we can root any Android device and put Android on there, the stock version, any updated version of Android, including with an updated device. But when you guys start talking about those Pixel phones and you encourage Google to manufacture garbage like that because that's what it is, it's garbage. You know, those Pixel phones, they could look a lot better. But for phones, you guys make the excuses because those companies send you the phones. So again, you guys don't want to be honest about this. You continue to talk like this about the phones and then other people have to go out there and say, you know what? Those phones don't look right. They can be improved and this is how they can be improved. HTC working with Google is not an improvement because HTC has to figure out the issues they have with their own phones, which recently they started to do, but they're not ready to manufacture Pixel phones. They're not ahead of the industry, that's for sure. So if HTC is working with Google, we are not getting some of the better phones out there, including the fact that you also have HTC working with Google and then LG. So you have two companies there working with Google and HTC was the company that Google chooses. I really think at this point they should choose LG because LG is one of the companies leading the industry, although again, they don't get the most amount of attention. And that's what it's about. It's about these phones improving, not being the same every year, because all people are doing is upgrading to the same kind of phone from the same company, and you get the same experience. This is why Samsung changes the design of their phones. They try to do something different, even LG. You know, certain companies out there are leading the way so these phones could be better. If you continuously applaud Apple and Google for some of the nonsense that they do, you're not going to get better phones. But I would like to know what you guys think about all of this. Post your comments down below. Let me know what smartphone you guys think is the best one out there. And of course, if you like this video, give a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.